Hello everybody, I'm Jeffrey Przinski, and this is StarTrekGames.net, where I'm trying to get Star Trek Starfleet Academy working for the Mac. So, this game right here, definitely one of my favorites, the first ever Star Trek video game that I ever had, and uh, I've loved it so much and I've kind of missed it. So, what I want to do today is get it working for the Mac. So to do this, we have to download a program called Crossover. Uh, you can go to their website, crossovergames.com, or I think it's just crossover.com right now. I'll put a link uh, in the description. So to get this game working, you first have to download this Crossover, so that way we can at least emulate a, or not even emulate a Windows environment. It's actually going to put a wine wrapper around this program. The program is still going to see like a C drive and, and the other Windows components, but it won't use them actually. So, to prove that this is actually going to work, I'm going to go ahead, get my booklet out, take my disk, put it into the drive. And in a couple seconds, we're going to go ahead and see it pop up here on the desktop. All right, now Crossover has one of those auto runs where it will say, hey, I discovered a disk that probably is meant for Windows. Do you want me to install this program? And in this case, we're going to say, yes, we're going to install. I already have it installed here. However, I'm going to rerun through the installation again. So let's go ahead and hit install. We're going to see select an application to install. We're going to just type in the name. In this case, I'm not going to write out Star Trek Starfleet Academy because I don't want it to accidentally overwrite anything. So I'm just going to make it easy and say SFA. And that's an unlisted application in this, in this instance. Usually this program will also go ahead and ask, uh, hey, you know, there's some similar names to this program. I mean, did you try to start, did you try to install like uh, Star Trek Online, for example. Well, in this case, this is not found. We're going to go ahead and click Continue. And it jumps all the way over to Install and Finish. I don't want to do that just yet. I'm going to go ahead and select Bottle. Notice how you have all these different bottles here that you can install into. Like, for example, Windows XP or Windows Vista 7, 8, 2000. In this case, I want to install into a Windows 98 bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and select that, go back over to install and finish, click install. Then it's going to go ahead and create the bottle and then create that, uh, that environment. So that way the disk will actually feel like, hey, uh, or I'm sorry, the program will actually feel like, hey, I'm, I'm in the Windows environment. I can go ahead and uh, continue with my installation. So let's go ahead and just watch that. There we go. You do not have to install DirectX. Uh, in my situation, I'm on OS X or OS 10, El Capitan, and I found out that just installing it with the regular install just worked fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and say uh, install. It might ask you something about DirectX. I'm just going to say no thank you and continue on with the installation progress. The install progress is going to be very similar to, um, you know, just hitting the next button a few times. It's already figured out the areas that it wants to go into. And in a few short minutes, uh, we're going to go ahead and have this game already installed. There we go. The game is installed. And I would recommend that you use Play Direct 3D for the best results. And you just go ahead, click Play Direct 3D. Uh, you go ahead and say register later, forfeit. There we go. Game's working. All right. So I hope that helped everybody else out there. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, you know, please uh, leave a comment or um, you know send us a send us a message so that way we can uh, you know see if we can help you out on your Mac with this game. And uh, there you go. Installation of SFA has been completed, and I can see it right over here in my crossover bottles. Well, thank you, everybody.
Uh, again, I hope this helped out, and I hope that you can uh, get the Star Trek Starfleet Academy game working for your Mac. See you later, and watch our playthrough on StarTrekGames.net.